It's yours if you want it. It's up to you. Master of magic spells and illusion. Enemies crumble in fear and confusion. Mandrake, defenders of the earth. Defender. We are talking Mandrake. Now this movie is directed by Lynn Davidson and stars Deirdre Mullins as our protagonist, Kathy. This is not to be confused with the 2010 movie of the same name. This is a slow burn character study kind of folk horror uh, with elements of kind of like cultism and paganism and uh, and kind of things like this. So let's discuss what is the story you might be asking me. Well, it focuses on Kathy, who is a probation officer and she is put in charge of Mary, who has recently been released from prison for killing her husband. Now, when she was originally put away, there was a lot of controversy. A lot of people were afraid of her because she seemed to be into occult things, devil worship, the circumstances of her arrests were from quite a bloody fashion and people were a little bit afraid of her. So uh, Kathy basically uh, kind of tries to kind of go in there with a kind of a, you know, a fresh mind, a new start, so to speak, but there definitely does seem to be something a little bit off with Mary and certainly people even now are still kind of somewhat afraid of her. In fact, she kind of sees two kids on the way up there who want to go and you know, see the witch for themselves. Now it turns out that these two kids end up going missing near Mary's property. Now is Mary responsible? What is going on there? Is there something else at play? And what is the relationship between uh, Mary and Kathy going to end up being like? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. So let's discuss what works with Mandrake. Okay, so this is a slow burn character based movie that deals in it's more psychological horror than anything else, um, but does have elements of, you know, cult behavior, paganism, kind of witchcraft, all that kind of stuff. Um, it doesn't really have much in the way of, you know, overt special effects or uh, visual kind of like horror necessarily. It is much more of a, a feeling of dread and atmosphere, but I'm gonna say it does do that very well. The first half of this movie especially, which is more or less your kind of setup, I think does an excellent job of putting all the, the pieces on the board. I, th I felt we got a good sense of all of the characters and who they are and their relationships with their respective other characters. For example, Kathy, you know, she's working as a probation officer. Uh, she has a somewhat estranged relationship with her young son who is being looked after by the, her ex-husband and his new wife who she kind of seems as a little bit of a rival because the son is almost really referring to the uh, his stepmother as his, as his real mother, if that makes sense. But you do get a realistic sense of, of these people. They're not played for over drama. I really enjoyed, for example, the relationship between Kathy, her ex-husband, and his new wife, because it could have easily turned into, you know, uh, making them nasty to each other for, you know, for extra drama. But I thought they handled it in a very kind of like realistic way that people would kind of more or less be like, if anything else, just for the sake of the kind of the, the, the sun and things like that. So drama wise and, and, and character wise, I think they have, all the characters are very, very well written. You know, when we kind of first see Mary, we, we know that there's something up with her. She certainly does seem somewhat of a, a, a strange one, but we don't know, you know, is that just kind of like reputation or is there something really kind of going on here? Um, and that's testament to the actor, just testament to the writing and the kind of the mood that this movie kind of certainly kind of builds in the, in the, in the kind of the, uh, um, the first half of the movie. And then we kind of story-wise, when we kind of get to these two kids going missing and, you know, is Mary responsible or, or isn't she? It's an intriguing kind of movie and an, an intriguing question, or at least it appears to be. Because I have to say, they answer that question, I think, a little bit too quickly. Um, in regards to the fate of these children and from the second half of this movie unfortunately I feel the story somewhat kind of unravels somewhat because um, I feel the strong kind of motivations that you could clearly see from the characters that were portrayed in the first half gets a little bit muddled and you don't quite know why people are doing certain things you don't quite know what's kind of going on 
Um, I suppose the most overt, and I'm not going to spoil anything here, but there's the, the, the most overt special effects you'll see here is a kind of, all I'll say is a baby Groot moment. Um, and I don't quite know what that was about. I think this movie is tr deliberately trying to be somewhat kind of mystery, you know, mystery-like and kind of what's kind of going on and mysterious. But I don't think it, it really ends up making too much kind of sense. And we don't quite know what we're looking at to a certain degree. Um, so although you can kind of get the broad strokes of you know, what's kind of going on in regards to who's responsible, I feel they kind of make that reveal a little early. Uh, we learn fairly early on kind of what's kind of going on and then we have this protracted uh, the kind of last act of the movie uh, and a somewhat kind of a damp squid of an ending. I didn't hate the ending to be honest with you because it feels somewhat kind of realistic but at the same time it's not exactly a huge amount of kind of payoff. Um, I do feel the, the, the acting is strong but I feel the, the, the second half of the movie writes characters in this more of an unrealistic way compared to the first half. I feel this movie's, um, what's the kind of the reveal happens about, you know, who is responsible, what is kind of going on. From that point on, it kind of unfortunately takes a little bit of a, a nose diving in regards to kind of quality of writing, um, the, the, the narrative flow. Although the acting is all still strong, I do feel the, um, you know, the, the writing isn't as good. So that ultimately becomes a little bit of, uh, a little bit messy kind of, you know, storytelling wise. I just say you still with the broad strokes. I feel you can get get an idea, but some I think some motivation is lost, and therefore some of the kind of attention that I was kind of giving it was was lost as well. Um, you know, it's it's certainly a, a watchable movie. I would I would say I, did, I do think it's a well crafted film. Certainly uh, for the acting, the cinematography, the, the music, I think was good here. Uh, but story wise, it just you know the first half I thought was very strong. The second half not bad but it just wasn't as strong as the first half and ultimately a little bit unsatisfying. I'll give it a six out of ten. I do think, I do feel the quality of the filmmaking here, the quality of the acting, the quality of the kind of the um, character work was, was, does put it as an above average movie, but it's ultimately ends up being somewhat unremarkable at that kind of at best. So it's a six out of ten for me. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.